Hi, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to mount a Clever Loop outdoor camera. So here's the camera here. Um, you can see it actually has three axes of rotation that you can tighten or loosen here to rotate. Um, so it makes it really easy to mount and kind of rotate uh, to the angle that you need it. Um, it's got four holes here for mounting um, and it's got a little, little weatherproof uh, thing here and you can put the the cable through this little slot um, instead of it going straight out um, so that's nice that you can fish it through the edge here now unfortunately this does not detach from the camera so ideally you would just take this cable put it through the wall and then connect it right to your camera but since this does, does not detach and it's got this uh, splitter here so um, this is for ethernet uh, and it's got the power connector here so because of this, and I don't want to drill a hole that's big enough to put this right through the, the wall, um, and also I'm going to be using a PoE injector, so I'll have even more cables here. And this will connect here, and this will connect to the power. So this is a PoE splitter. Um, it takes the uh, power and, and data coming from the input, and it splits it into the 12 volt power and uh, ethernet for the camera. Now, because I have quite a bit of cabling here, and this is not, uh, this can't be subjected to water, um, what I'm going to do is I have this enclosure here. Um, this is a TMAC Extra Duty Hubble uh, enclosure, conduit box. Um, and the way this works is uh, it's actually designed for plugs um, and light switches for outdoor use. Uh, and it's designed to be mounted directly to a um, an enclosure box, uh, an exterior uh, enclosure that would house your electrical. Um, but I'm going to use it for this um, this camera. So what I'm going to do here, uh, so this has little breakout pieces on the bottom here, which I can't seem to knock out. I'll show you that later, but basically you can put the cables through, there we go, you can put the cables through either side here, you can fish it through the bottom or the side, and it has a pin here that you can remove and then put here so that this box can open the other way. Um, so I, I'm, I haven't decided yet which way I'm going to mount it yet, but um, the idea is I'm going to fish an ethernet cable you can see here, this is a Cat6 cable. I'm going to fish this through my exterior wall and have it come right into this box. Then I'll connect that to all of this cabling here, stuff it inside the box, and then have the cable come out the side here, like this, so that I can close the box and have it be a nice weatherproof enclosure. And so I'll mount this to the side of the wall. Um, and this will come out and I'll make a little drip loop with the camera wire um, and then mount this next to it. So it'll be mounted side by side. Um, now what I also got was a uh, cable bushing. Uh, so here it is. Uh, they just make these little bushing things so when the, when the uh, you know, this is about a quarter inch, I'll drill a quarter inch through the wall um, and when this comes out I can slip this over it uh, and put some clear caulking on to get a nice uh, moisture proof seal. Alright, here we are on the side of the house uh, and this is where I plan to mount the camera. So what I'm going to do here is um, drill in to get my cable through here, mount the box here, and then I'll do a little loop to get the camera and mount it uh, from the ceiling here. Now ideally, so you can see we're right at the edge of the house, right by the eaves, um, ideally we would drill from the inside out. Um, unfortunately, the usable space in the attic ends right about here, so it would be very difficult to kind of drill over here. So what we're going to do is, I've measured very carefully, uh, and I think I know where it's going to come out in the attic, so we're going to drill a hole, and then I'm going to stick some fish tape through the hole and pull it out in the attic, put my ethernet cable through, and uh, hopefully it'll come out in the right spot. Alright, so I've drilled my quarter inch hole here. Unfortunately, I drilled here first and I hit a stud. So, I've made a repair project for myself, but 
it's not too bad. So I'm going to use this hole. Uh, I was able to drill through with a quarter inch, and so we can test it here with my, I have a little strip of Cat 6 here, and we can make sure that it goes through, which it did, but the hole's a little tight here. So there we go, so it goes all the way through. Got a nice, nice hole here. And then we can also make sure that the uh, little seal here that we're going to use will fit in which it does, so that'll be nice. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do here is take my fish tape, and I've got this fish tape here, which I use also use to run my Cat6 cable. But we're just gonna put this through, and I can feel right now the insulation on the inside that I'm hitting. That's okay, the insulation just pulls right back. So I'm gonna put that pretty far through, and uh, I'll come back with you in the attic and we'll see if we can find it. All right, here we are in the attic. As you can see, I'm in pretty cramped quarters here. Uh, I pulled back a bunch of the insulation with my trusty yard stick. And I don't know if you can see this, it's kind of hard to see with a bunch of dust in here and everything, but there's my fish tape. So now all I gotta do is figure out how to get that. Uh, I got some tongs here. I'm gonna try and shimmy down there and uh, grab it. So I'll be back with you in a sec. Wish me luck. Okay, I was able to get my fish tape out of the dark depths of the corner of my attic. So now that I've got the fish tape and I've got, I ran some Cat 6 all the way up from my basement through the attic and it terminates right here. Runs all along the attic. Uh, I fastened it down all the way to there and I'll fasten this once I get this through. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take my knife and kind of uh, pull this out a little bit so I can get the wires in and then I will uh, attach it to this and I've got some electrical tape. I'm going to tape it up. I'll show you in a sec. Okay, so you can see what I've done here. I opened this cable up and I staggered the wires here so I um, connected just one wire uh, to the loop, pulled it back, and kind of made it get bigger as it goes until we get to the, the cable. And now what I'm going to do is wrap it up with electrical tape. Okay, we're done in the attic. Uh, I wrapped this all up with electrical tape. And uh, so this is nice because it makes a nice smooth surface so it won't uh, snag on anything. And so now that we're good here. I'm going to go back outside and I'll pull this uh, snake through. Hopefully nothing will come undone. Okay, we made it. Got my cable through. Um, you can see the uh, fish tape here and I backed it out and it came through. It's kind of a bitch to pull, pull through but persevered and uh, made it. You can see a bunch of rub marks on the uh, cable here. But uh, So now that we have it through, I'm going to pull through a bunch of slack uh, and uh, mount the uh, conduit box. We're also going to caulk uh, the, the edges here so we have a moisture barrier and while I'm at it I'll repair this hole. Okay so we have our uh, conduit box mounted here. Put two screws in. Um, again this is meant to be mounted to an, an exterior um, uh, like junction box, conduit box that you'd put an electrical outlet in. Um, but we're just going to mount it. We mount it directly to the wall here and um, because this is low voltage, it's not a big deal. If this was high voltage, this wouldn't be to code. Um, but this is totally fine. And uh, so now what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna caulk. Um, so I was originally gonna use this uh, seal here um, around the outside, but I found that it was actually a little too snug. Uh, it won't really push all the way in. Uh, and so because this is, this is already really snug and really tight, uh, I'm just gonna put the caulk directly in there and uh, let it seal up. Okay, we finished caulking. Uh, you can see the caulk around the edges here, and I, of course, repaired the mistake I made earlier. And, uh, someone's got an obnoxious engine going on over there. Uh, so we're just gonna wait for this to dry for a few hours, and uh, I'll be back. All right, here we are. I have finished mounting the camera. Um, so you can see here, I, I, since I had to get my paint out, I painted over the, uh, the hole that I made that I caulked. And then I, since I had the paint out anyway, I painted this box just so it blends in a little bit better. I might end up painting the camera, we'll see. Um, so you can see I stuffed all the electronics in there. 
um, and I made a little bit of a drip loop. I would have liked to have more of a drip loop, um, but there wasn't really enough slack on the wires. Um, and went ahead and mounted my camera, adjusted all the, uh, the axes, and uh, there we go. So there's the finished product. Uh, you can see the camera from far away. It's watching. Thanks for watching.